What's going on? It's your main man, Banky W, a.k.a. Mr. Capable. My name is LD, and you're watching 53 Extra, baby. You know what it does. It's amazing, and we've worked so hard for our shows and our performances. You guys will be really impressed. Life is a very difficult place to be, and that being on Earth, you know, you go through so many hurdles, and life can be very challenging. And that's how they came up with this concept of perfume, uh, beautiful food, and beautiful clothes, which is couture. And the whole idea is that when things get that sort of tough, you, know, you can always go out there, buy a bottle of perfume, go to a nice restaurant, but most importantly... That's, that's what inspired me, rock inspires me. The outfits are amazing, you know you see a lot of clothes on the runway and nobody really wears them. But I think it's great and I think we should have more of that. And it's a good idea, particularly that it was featuring lesser known or young designers. And what we try to do is to always have um, fresh ideas um, every year. The team of this year was Seasons and we have three seasons and we had um, different fashion shows to show those seasons. Simply beautiful. Now, if you guys want to talk about elegance, style, and power, those three words can be used to describe ex-TV girl Abike Dabiri Erewa. She tells 53 Extra what style and glam feel like. Hello, welcome 53 Extra. Welcome to my home. It's a pleasure to receive you here. So why don't you just come in with me and uh, let's have fun. A lot of artwork in this home. This is a gift from my husband. I think it's a picture of a beautiful woman, you know, sensual and backing. It's like, you know what, well, come get me if you can. Uh, try to do a bit of reading. It's, it's a must for a legislator or even for a journalist. And of course, as I read, I always have by my side my cup of tea. <laughs> it's just a must have. It's, it's very relaxing. This is from the New York Senate that was given to me and um, one of the very many international awards. I cherish all these awards. I, they only encourage you to work harder and harder and harder. But for me, I'll put family first before the work. I have a lovely husband, Shegwe Rewa. He's very caring, he's very supportive, and he's been a strong pillar of support. As a woman in a male-dominated field, it's not as difficult as we imagine. I think what matters is how you uh, approach your job. 